Hello guys, hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for dropping by the channel today. Let's start off these recent pickups, eh? So let's start off with the footwear, guys. No explanation needed. These are some just a wonderful pair of para boots in that really nice monochrome white black. They just come in that beautiful Michael type design. That mock toe, signature mock toe that para boot are known for. This is actually a collaboration between para boot and Etude. Apologies if my pronunciation is wrong. I believe this collaboration was done a couple years ago. I ended up finding these bad boys directly on the Etude website themselves at a discount. And I think I bought them for 195 euro. The next couple purchases you guys are both vintage polo pieces that I sourced from my friend eBay. First one guys, as you guys can see, is just the beautiful vintage Harrington or golf jacket that sort of vintage polo silhouette and what really 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 drew me to this guys as you probably can tell is the design on the back just a nice sort of set of golf clubs that really sort of classic classic representation of that vintage polo design that went on back in the day a bonus to this jacket guys is actually foist lined on the inside in the fit i'm pairing the jacket with my ompise isamiyake trousers and my 1461 doc martens and the last pickup for this video guys is again another vintage polo piece but this time it is a short sleeve shirt just a beautiful beautiful sort of brown light brownish tannish colorway that palm tree design the front and also at the back of the garment classic camp collar design in the fit i am pairing the shirt with again my ompli safe trousers and the white black para boots Bon wa guys, good evening. Just had a bit of a rest. I'm making my way to a place called Doton Bori. It's probably the most famous sort of shopping street, street food street here in Osaka, here in Namba. Pretty much the center of all the entertainment and sort of amusement in this part of, to of Tokyo, in this part of Osaka. And I'm looking for a particular restaurant. Just arrived, it's called Chibo Okonomiyaki. The grill's a bit hot as well now, I think, starting to warm up. Cool story, bro. Got a two drinks, one highball, what was that? And one orange juice as well. There are always certain people, I'm not gonna name any names, that say it's weird that I ordered two drinks, particularly when I get a hot tea and a hot coffee. I'd like to know in the comments section if you guys think that's weird getting two drinks, you know? So when you're eating okonomiyaki, guys, this is the weapon of choice. You kind of spatula, you chop that up, put it to your plate, and enjoy. The next day. Nice beautiful morning here in Osaka. Tuesday morning. I am just about to check out of the hotel. It's been a good stay, real comfy sleep, real decent facilities, pretty small at 21 square meters. I definitely recommend it if you're ever in Osaka. Outfit action today. T-shirt from Korea I got five years ago. Again, the coach pouch, pants from yesterday, loafers. Cool story, bro. Just made it to Namba station. I'm just gonna drop some of my bag, well my bags off so I can just walk around. Do a bit more exploring before I actually go back to Tokyo. Sakura. Pretty much woke up this morning, guys. I was like, man, what can I get for breakfast today? I'm in Osaka. No bullshit. Food capital of Japan. And I'm like, hmm, might as well go to the market, get some seafood, get some sashimi. Hi. Hey, Akadon. Mmm. I was talking about breakfast. This is pretty much what I need. <laughs> you know, bit of fatty tuna. Oh my god. Woo! Alright, that's probably the best. The, the best. The, the breast. The, the best breakfast I've had, guys. Holy sh. That's probably the best breakfast I've had in a long, long time, guys. It's straight up. Otoro fatty tuna. It was a bit expensive, it was about 1500 yen, and I understand why. I think it was like a couple cuts of fatty tuna and then the mince portion of it. I'm gonna go around Osaka now, I think, and just check out a couple more places and then make my way home to Tokyo sometime in the afternoon. Now, in my younger days, I used to
It's made it to Tenoji. Tenoji, I don't even know how to say it probably. It's a nice sort of structure right there. Got a nice sort of cinema. Vintage cinema, I like that. Vintage cinema. Cool story, bro. It's like some random old school kind of vintage arcade thing. I might check it out. Pretty sick, to be honest. Yeah. All the guys that were inside were pretty middle aged, I guess. That's, vin that's vintage right there. Yeah, that's vintage right there. I might play. I might go back and play, actually. Vintage. 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 Oh, on a middle slug. Who remembers middle slug, man? Oh, no way. Street Fighter, I think. Oh, man. Time Crisis, man. Who remembers that? Oh, my God. That is a throwback, bro. Ready for Shinosaka Station, guys. Gonna go home. Back home to Tokyo. Got my ticket as well. Get some food, maybe not. I'm not too, too hungry, but see ya. Nick Mana. Welcome to the Shinkansen. This is the Nozomi Super Express bound for Tokyo. Much, much, much later. Hey guys, back in Tokyo, back in the big city, Tokyo Station. Uh, I'm just gonna make my way home now and uh, chill. We'll see you guys whenever. <laughs> Next part of this video. I'm in Ginza right now, guys. I actually haven't been to Ginza at this point in time where the road's kind of blocked. It's pretty awesome. The main sort of street is closed off and people can walk. It's very, very, very cool. This is pretty awesome guys, for context, Ginza is one of the most sort of high class, upscale kind of areas in Tokyo. All the different brands are here, everyone just dresses so nice here, all the nice restaurants. And for it to be kind of closed off like this is so cool. You would have seen that guy with the puppet, real nice dude. You guys are probably like, why are you in Ginza? There's no vintage shops in Ginza, right? But, that's right. But, I want some Indian buffet guys, I want some Indian buffet. I'm here for lunch, 1200 yen. There's an Indian buffet, 1200 yen, pretty good selection. Very satisfying. I don't feel that healthy though, to be honest, might have to work out later. I feel fat, bro. I feel so fat, bro. <laughs> Come on. I'm no punk, bitch. 